Jaspies eBay presented by jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second break of the night, 2019 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. It's a six box half case break number four on eBay. And here you go. Boom. And here are the six boxes, second half of the master. Alrighty, guys. And we got a Mariano Rivera pinstripe framed mini. Yankees. Oh, and there's our first rip card. 34 to 75. Rip it or keep it. David Price. Boston Red Sox. That's going to be Michael J. So I don't know if you hear Michael. I'm going to rip it for you. I can. If not, before the end of the break. If uh, we'll send it out to you. You grab it for yourself, man. Yeah, I wish I could, Jesse. But I know customers would be so mad. <laughs> We should just create a rule, like on eBay, if a rip card pops out, uh, that's it. you know, we got to uh, rip it for you guys.
smoke. Toronto Blue Jays. And there you go, number. That is 7 out of 25, Carlton Fisk, Chicago White Sox. Topper, Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Next one. Let's actually open up this little one first. Bregman. No, it says, I can tell you have opened way too many packs of AG. <laughs> Actually, I've only opened, I think, maybe three, four cases. I think if you're just talking about the pack ripping skills, it just comes from just being a breaker over the last, like, four years. But I guess four cases is a lot, right? But I'm sure there's a lot of other breakers that have done, like, plenty of more cases. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. <clears throat> I've always loved the feel of Ginter packs. You know which ones I actually love to rip open is uh, Archives Baseball. Those packs are always really, really good feel to open. Alrighty, guys. Good luck next box. Roger Hornsby. Look at that. St. Louis Cardinals Bat Relic. It's pretty nice. St. Louis Cardinals. Who has the cards? Trey. There you go. Nice. What's wrong with the camera? Sometimes it just messes up like that.
Garden Brewer and Podcast Host. I'll go to the non baseball. Michael D. Five star should be really nice. Very high end. It's a great price point, as in the boxes are a little pricey, but they're not too pricey. But the thing is that there's only so many hits in a box. So I think about 16 total cards with two to three hits a box. It's going to be tough to hit, but when you do hit, very nice. Hopefully, uh, I could break some five star for you guys on Sunday. Or not Sunday, Monday, I guess. Devers for the Red Sox. Oh, yeah, that's a great promo, right? Yeah. Might as well take advantage. I mean, if you're going to buy those teams already anyways tomorrow, you might as well get them today, have a chance to win some free spots. Yeah, no, well, so besides what we do here on eBay, we have a website where we sell breaks as well, straight up. So, as you can see, Nightbot right there just said join our case breaks. If you click that link, jazbeescasebreaks.com, that'll lead you to our website. All you have to do is buy spots in either 5-star or Absolute before 9.30 tonight, so in about an hour and a half. And you will automatically have a chance to win some free teams in breaks tomorrow. So... You'll see it right there. It's the first uh, category or collection on the first page. So you click the website. Check it out right there. See? Here's a little pre-order promo. Just pre-order, no matter what, before tonight, 930. And you have a chance to win these teams from these breaks, from 5 Star to Absolute. For free. Just, just for you guys buying on our website. We have all sports, football, baseball, basketball, hockey. A lot of cool stuff. Check it out. It's like we say, our regular customers are already going to buy anyways. So it's like, why not continue to pre-order before, you know, before, so you can get chances of some free stuff. And yeah, I mean, the Redskins are probably, I'm sure it's a little over $100. You know, I'm sure the teams that are in the randomizers are for free. They were giving away for free just for customers to pre-order. You know, we're probably giving away four or five hundred dollars worth of teams. I kid you not. So yeah, we break on eBay, of course. We usually do have new releases on eBay. Uh, it all just depends which ones. Um, it all just depends on which ones and how many cases we have. If we don't have too many to put on eBay, then we hold them just for the website. But we usually do have new releases on eBay as well. And yeah, we have all kinds. We have random teams, pick your teams. Uh, you know, we do divisional breaks sometimes. We do crazy breaks too. Depending on the product, random letter, stuff like that. But yeah, it'll pretty much say it on every title. It'll say if it's a pick your team, it'll say if it's a random team. Uh, you know, so check it out. But I would say most popular is a pick your team. I think we do really well with pick your teams. We'll sell out much quicker than random teams, but we do cater random teams as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, group breaking is a fun experience. It is very addicting, of course, but I always like to tell customers that there's two type of collectors, right? There's one that love to collect their teams from all products, and then there's times where people like to buy the bigger teams to flip but they also love to rip their own boxes and cases but group breaking can become pretty affordable if you're just looking for specific players or teams obviously if you're a big blue jays fan this year padres they're gonna be a little pricey but i mean I know customers that will go out and buy a whole box of Ginter hoping to hit this player or this team or whatnot. You know, where it's like, dude, if you invest that box of Ginter into a pick your team or break on eBay here, right? 
you may get that whole team in a whole case for a fraction of the price, you know? And that's kind of like the beauty of breaking. Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. But, of course, the risks are you may not get anything. You know what I mean? So, that's just the risk you take. But I think most people that know group breaking and know the hobby is that this is really the future. It really is. This is the future of collecting. And it makes it very exciting. You know, I, it's it's a... Uh, it's funny because like group breaking is just starting to take off really big. Claiborne. It's been around for a while now, but I mean this all started at local car shops, right? A couple customers here and there decided, hey, let's split a box up. You get one division, I get one division, and we'll get a couple more people, you know? But now it's gotten to the point where now we're on social media breaking, now we're on platforms like YouTube. And, you know, the more viewers you get, the more customers you you have and breaks sell out much quicker. But yeah, everybody knows the risk and the gamble. But it's also strategic because you know what checklist is out there, right? It's not like you're going in it blind. So, but the risk is that obviously you may not get nothing. But I'd rather take my chance at a 12-case break of Ginter for $100 and I get this team rather than go buy a $100 box any day, to be honest. I mean, obviously, I know some people love to rip their own personal boxes, and that's okay. But for me as a collector or of a specific team, I'd go breaking all the way. And yeah, just like uh, Trey said, usually some big teams are pretty tough to sell. Not everybody has a couple hundred dollars to pay for the Cardinals or pay for the Blue Jays. So what we do is random number block a, sp a specific big team. Nice. For the Cubs. David. Boaty. Boat. And uh, you get a piece of that big team for a tenth of the price. And you have a chance to get those hits. It's a little confusing for some people, random number blocks. But for the for you guys that have, are a part of breaking, you guys know. But yeah, guys, check out our website. That's really why we break on eBay. Uh, obviously, we're just trying to attract new customers out there to come check out our website. Uh, you know, we don't really have new customer discount codes or, you know, stuff like that. We did when we first started doing eBay, but a lot of bad apples kind of messed it up for everybody. We're creating fake accounts, fake names, and so we had to stop that. But... Honestly, I think Trey, you know, will tell you, he's a normal customer of ours. He'll tell you that we don't really do much of that, but we do give away a lot of break credit. You know what I mean? You know, we do give away, you know, memorabilia. You know, we do give away a lot of different things that still attract customers to come to our website. And I have to be like, where's the new discount customer? You know, you know, new customer discount. Longoria for the Giants. So, just like that promo we're having there. Like, you're already going to buy into Absolute and 5 Star tomorrow, right? Well, might as well. <laughs> just pre-order it tonight if there's teams that you want. And you have a chance to win some free stuff. You know what I mean? There's, it's just like that. I mean, we had this one progressive jackpot promo, guys, this past weekend that we were trying out. Where, think of it as just like a slot machine, right? You don't hit, the price goes up, you know what I mean? So what we had there was pretty cool. I thought it was a great idea. So we gave away $25 in break credit. If we hit any one-on-one -on -one from any break, uh, you get $25 in break credit to the customers in that break. If we didn't hit one, the jackpot went up by $25. That went up to 50 to 100 to 200 I think Joe on Saturday... Didn't hit a one on one for like 15 breaks and it got up to like $450 in break credit on our website. And finally, he hit a one on one and a customer won $450. Yeah, that goes a long way, especially in breaking, you know? I did the same thing on Sunday and I think I gave away like $250 before I hit a one on one. So it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, just like Noah says, everybody, everybody has their own thing, every breakers do. For us, it's just more giving away stuff for buying already here, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely check it out. So there's another YouTube stream that he's also streaming on right now, Joe is. I stream on that channel too on the weekends on Sunday, Monday. But for the most part, I run the eBay channel. So there's a YouTube channel. He's actually breaking right now. You might be able to actually hear him in the next studio down. So they, we stream from 2 to uh, two to 10 Pacific. So East Coast is, uh, what is that, 5 to 1 in the morning. Seven days a week. You know, no days off. Unless one of us gets sick or something like that. But seven days a week. And, you know, for the most part, our group breaks don't last very long on the website. We don't have set schedule breaks just yet, just like we do on eBay. But uh, what we do is, you know, when it fills, it breaks. So it kind of just has to sell out and then it breaks. But in the future, we're going to start changing that and starting some, uh, you know, schedule breaks. So that's always the number one question is like, when is this going to break? You know, so we're working on that. We actually just moved into our new retail store. As you see, I have the door open, but you can see like a ladder there and stuff. We just moved in about almost a month ago now. We're trying to just focus on continuing to break online, but also get our storefront ready to roll for customers to come shop on our, on our, in our store. But once we get all that situated, um, we're definitely going to start improving a lot of things on the website. But yeah, it should be exciting times. And we're actually located in Hermosa Beach in California, about 10 minutes away from LAX, so we're in Los Angeles. So, our car shop is going to be very nice, very modern. It's going to be a pretty fun experience. So, if any of you guys travel for work and ever stop in Los Angeles, we're not too far off from LA. LAX, that is. Just take Sepulveda that turns into PCH all the way down. It's about like five miles from here. You got that Vlad Jr. bat, Trey? I didn't know that. Oh, are you really, Jesse? Nice. Where at exactly? I don't live too close from the Inland Empire, but I am uh, I am uh, in the San Gabriel Valley. But my wife is actually from the Inland Empire, so I'm always I'm always uh, over there when we go visit her parents and stuff like that. All right, we got uh, Elvis Andrus, Texas Rangers. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I have actually, I do have a couple aunts that uh, are aunts, Diaz, right? That uh, actually, I have one of them who lives in Rialto. A couple of them live in Fontana. One lives in Riverside. Is it Andrews, Joe Pizzle? <laughs> so, I know that area, alright. I actually was married in San Bernardino. <laughs> well, actually it was Rabbids. That's awesome, man. Definitely, de definitely come visit us once our store's open. I think we're planning for like a mid-September-ish release. Uh, grand opening, sorry. Probably have some player signings here on our store too, so. Should be pretty fun. Definitely stay tuned. Pedro Martinez, Boston Red Sox, Frank Mini. Uh, no, it says they're all signed up on the site. What does that mean? And if we go to like like the national, you mean? Like the last year, in, this year in Chicago? Oh, yeah. Um, we didn't go this year, actually. We had just moved into our store last month. And that kind of kind of took more of the budget for that month. And like I said, our main focus is opening up our retail store. So we didn't make it out this year. But... Um, 
I think next year we're gonna make it out to Atlantic City. So. Yeah, I know. So if you guys love Ginter, so check this out. We like to call him Boss Man Mike, but Mike Jasperson. What was the real name, Richard? But Mike Jasperson. Uh, Lester. Actually, was actually in Ginter in 2016, I believe. He went to the uh, Transcendent Party, <laughs> and uh, he actually won uh, the contest where he was able to be featured on Ginter. So... But he's also been around the hobby for like 40, 40 plus years. He's worked for Topps, Beckett, uh, a lot of places. So he's very well respected in the industry. But it was pretty cool. Uh, you know, he had his own set. And we, it was funny was that we had a Mike Jasperson bounty. So in our breaks on our website, if we were to pull the Mike Jasperson autograph, we gave away $2,000 in break credit to a customer. And legit, I kid you not. We pulled it like in the second break and they only made 10 of them and he actually signed them in our old store and the top representative was there watching them. So we pulled one of the 10 in like the first day on the second break and we actually gave away $100 or $2,000 in break credit to a customer. <laughs> Man of his word, he said, if they pull my autograph, I'm going to give away 2000 bucks. And we did. How crazy is that? Oh, gold box. Oh, yeah, the P uh, you mean some gold packs or you mean the, uh, I think they're called VIP boxes now, right? The black boxes? Oh, all right, cool. We have the little uh, gold foil box. Yeah, we actually didn't make it to the, to the national this year, but we brought the national to Hermosa Beach is what we said. We had a little... Uh, promotion during the national where however many breaks we filled up uh we gave away 50 vip gold packs so that's like a thousand dollar value right there they were going for like 20 bucks a pack we gave away i believe seven a hundred silver packs to a customer we gave away a black box we gave away you know a lot of different things we were able still to still get those panini, uh, you know, gold packs, silver packs, even though we didn't make it. So, it's pretty cool. Giving away two boxes. Are you in this break, Noah? Are you in in the next break that's coming up? Or are you just actually watching? I was like, I don't think I see you on the sheet, but. I just wanted to double check. I know, I know. Uh, Jesse said he was in the next couple breaks, the Gold Rush baseball breaks. Let's actually rip these open right here really quick. Justin Verlander. Little N43. And Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Alright, two board boxes to go, guys. Good luck. These glossy ones are pretty nice, though. Oh, you're in the next break, football. Nice. 
Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Remember that, Trey? That was awesome. Baez for the Cubs. Did you end up selling that already, Trey, or no? Yeah, well, the Gold Rush is a pretty fun product. It's a repack product from Gold Rush, I believe, which is Steel City. Um, there's only 36 cards in the case, which is a box case. It's only a box, but they call it a case because there's 12 packs. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, it's a mixture of, like, rookie cards, mixture of relics, autographs, some graded rookie cards and stuff like that. Oh, wow, look at that. Nathan Burns. Owner Grand Slam Collectibles. So this is kind of like the one he must have won. Mike, uh, our boss man Mike actually won at the Transcendent Party. That's pretty cool. There you go. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty fun product though. I mean, there's usually a, like one or two huge hits that make up the whole case. But for the most part, it's pretty fun. Um, obviously, there will be teams that are going to go hit list. But I mean, for the most part, it's pretty cool. But in a break like that, if you go hitless and you don't receive anything in the break, we'll send you out a pack of uh, football cards and get a chance to hit some autos or, you know, relic stuff like that. Hoskins for the Phillies. So you don't go entirely hitless with us. Have we pulled the second rip card yet? I don't think we have, right? Boyd, what's going on? I know. What's up, man? Yeah. I seen your message earlier. I was just a little busy. I didn't reply back, but what a uh, sweet McCaffrey you got the other day, right? That was awesome. All right, guys. Last box. I know we're running a little behind, guys, but those those uh, gold roast breaks are pretty quick. So even though I got 20 minutes to break each one, I should be done within 10, maybe 15. So we'll make up the time. What, the mini 101? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know what tops either. I mean, I was supposed to pull a magazine autograph in every case of archives, and I didn't pull one yesterday, so. <laughs> and I don't know. I think that's why they say on average. Yeah, Trey, I actually have my phone now. I totally blanked out on who I picked up with my first two picks in fantasy. I know it was Michael Thomas and one other receiver. Oh, that's right. I got Michael Thomas and Adam Thielen. So this is my lineup. At quarterback, I got Carson Wentz. At wide receiver, Michael Thomas, Adam Thielen. I kind of went young on running backs this year. I really think that Josh Jacobs is going to do really well with the Raiders. And then I think Doug Martin is actually, uh, I think he got in the IR now. I want David Montgomery as well. I think he's going to take over for the Bears as well. I got Delaney Walker as a tight end with a backup as Dallas Goddard. And then I got Deshaun Jackson as a flex. And picked up my Eagles as a defense. Oh, yeah, I know. I've actually ripped a double rip card before. 
of like a out of five trout and um, pool hole with a buddy of mine. It was very scary, <laughs> but it was fun. Oh, did you hit one of those? Yeah. I would probably sell that. I mean, the possibilities of getting some monstrous hits in there are pretty likely, but those triple rip cards as a box topper sell so much. Yes, you're guaranteed a stainless uh, glass card. So, those actually sell pretty well depending on the player. I believe like a Martin Rivera, they pull so for like 100 bucks. But obviously, you know, if you get a good v player... Or a good team. Some customers will pay crazy monies just to have it. So sometimes you're better off just selling it as is. But I don't know. If I bought them with like one box of Ginter, I would probably just rip it. If I invested a ton of boxes and I, I finally hit one just to make some money back, then I'd sell it. But yeah, rocks. Yeah, I know people use a flashlight to peek if it's a... I hear some people use a metal detector too to make sure to see if it's a metal card. And there you go. Oh no, that was a rip card. Chris Bryant for the Cubs, frame mini. Chicago Cubs. I think that's Chris. And there you go. Speaking of stained glass, very nice. Padres. Montgomery. Oh, so maybe we're only going to get one rip card. I know, Trey. I was going to tell you that. I pulled at least one steel uh, stainless glass card in every case I've opened. Like, legit. <laughs> Like I've hit one in every case, and I don't. I've never. I don't know if I've seen Joe or Nick ever hit one of those. Bryce Harper for the Phillies. All righty, guys. Well, there you go. I don't think we. I think that's it. Well, the shipping team will look through all the cards. I don't think I missed a rip card. I would have felt that right away. But it looks like we only got one rip card, but pretty cool stuff, though. Stained glass, some cool relics. This one's really cool. Some frame minis. Hornsby. And then the one rip card, Boston Cel uh, Red Sox. David Price. There you go, guys. This is Ginter number four on eBay, Jaspies, eBay, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Coming up some Gold Rush football. Appreciate it.